This memorial, located in Central Hall, records the name of the old Campbellians who fought in World War I. The centrepiece lists the name of the 126 students and one member of staff who died in the course of the conflict. In addition, their photographs are placed around the Central Hall. In keeping with the school motto, Nev Levascaris, never forget, the school has made every effort to ensure the contribution of these boys to the war effort will be remembered. The story of every former student who died during the Great War is told in the Men Behind the Glass website, and pupils learn about their fellow Campbellians and lessons. For instance, this is Reginald Whiteside. He was head boy of the college and captain of the first 15 in 1914 when the war broke out. Despite the successful career that undoubtedly awaited Reggie, he volunteered to join the 18th Squadron of the Royal Flying Corps when the war broke out. Sadly, just before Christmas 1916, he was shot down by Manfred von Richthofen, famously known as the Red Baron. His plane was the 14th aircraft out of the 80 the Baron shot down during the war. If you study the memorial in Central Hall more closely, you may well spot some famous names of OCs who fought in the Great War. Author C.S. Lewis was commissioned into the 3rd Battalion of the Somerset Light Infantry as a second lieutenant just before his 19th birthday in 1917. You will also find one soldier with the initials VC after his name, indicating that he was awarded the Victoria Cross, the very highest honour given to soldiers. Edmund de Wind was the second Campbellian to be awarded a Victoria Cross. William English received his for bravery during the Boer War. Just over 1,300 Victoria Crosses have been awarded ever, and so it is a huge source of pride that two of these have been given to Campbellians. The memorial in Central Hall was unveiled in 1923 by an Ulster soldier, General Sir Alexander Godley. The central plaque is surmounted by elaborate carved stonework, including a royal coat of arms. The four carved figures on the memorial represent courage, life, death and endurance. Along the top of the memorial are four griffins, representing England, Ireland, Scotland and Wales. The design for the memorial was produced by a Campbellian, Captain James Young, £5,000 was raised by the Old Campbellian Society to create the design. In the service in April 1923 in which it was first unveiled, General Godley concluded with the following words, Your founder, Mr Campbell, could not have been more amply justified in his munificence. I can only hope that the families of those who perished may find some small solace in this beautiful memorial. <laughs>